All right, so week three of the NFL season is over with. Just wanted to give y'all some of my thoughts about this week. Uh, the primary one being what I've been saying for a minute, and that's that every quarterback, every quarterback, your quarterback is ass. And I'm talking booty, booty butt cheeks. I'm talking, you feel me, Magic City levels of ass. Whatever it is, you know, I know Houston is supposed to be the strip club capital of the world. Whatever, whatever is the most famous, the most cheeked up and geeked up strip club in the Houston area, that is your quarterback. <laughs> you feel me? And I know some of y'all are going to get the, oh, well, Bill, what about Josh Allen? What about then? And I already know, you feel me? I'm recording this at what? What time is it? It's, it's a quarter to eight in the morning and I already know you turn on ESPN right now I promise you they 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 giving Josh you feel me the sloppiest toppiest golf golf 3000 that you've ever seen cuz that's what they do right A after last year when you feel me they uh was trying to uh uh crucify dude for all the turnovers now now he's Jesus he's he's Jesus with a football pretty much and without the long hair but and 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 my retort to that would be this is who is buffalo played <laughs> right who 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 has the bills play so all right let's so start with last night you got a jacksonville team that everybody was saying before the season started low-key might be ass uh you got a cardinals team that won like what six games last year you got a cardinals team that is it, which is wild and i've been telling y'all about that nigga josh gannon and i've been telling y'all you understand what i'm saying who last year was ass defensively and this year uh might be even worse i think they were rated like 30 second dead last in the league uh in DVOA last year and they just as bad this year so there you had that uh and who else did buffalo play uh the dolphins the, the dolphins who i said last year last year when everybody you know was sipping the mike daniels kool-aid you know and that's the thing man that that that's why i feel like people because i didn't understand why people love because football has been taken over by geeks, man, and th and this is and this isn't because I'm a geek myself, so I'm, I'm th this isn't meant to be disparaging, but you know how the the the, the geeks used baseball was their sport. Now now it's football, right? Now it's for everything you know is numbers, is analytics. Which again, I'm not disparaging the analytics. I'm just saying that uh, people fell in love with Mike McDaniel because they see themselves in Mike McDaniel. You feel me awkward geeky you feel me uh alcoholics anonymous alumni with uh, alumnus rather you know with uh big coke bottle glasses and they see themselves you feel me uh the guy who would play ball if they could play ball but they, it, even though uh mcdaniel did play ball in high school i believe but that that's aside from the point my point being that i've always said miami was a glass cannon you feel me? If you hit them in the mouth, right? They can't beat anybody good, right? If you hit them in the mouth, that's how you, that's how you beat the Dolphins. Hit them in the mouth and you force them to hit back. They, they, and the reason why I wanted to get onto the whole deal about the about the quarterbacks is because uh, people going to see, you know, Jaden balled out last night, so I got to give him his his flowers. Uh, but people going to see, and and I don't know who said this. But I think they hit the nail right on the head when they said that uh, CJ kind of screwed up, you feel me? The, and, it, and it's no fault of his own, but CJ kind of screwed up, you feel me, the trajectory of rookie cut. Like, it, it's your first year, nigga. You understand? Everybody can't be Peyton Manning, you feel me, their first year. You know, give these balls some time. You feel me? Give Caleb some time. You know, Bo Nix won a game. Uh, on Sunday, uh, give all these quarterbacks some time. You, you feel me? They three games into their pro career. You dig what I'm saying? It's going to take a minute for them to de to develop. I still believe in Bryce Young. 
I don't believe in him as a Carolina Panther, uh, but I still believe in Brett. Matter of fact, Justin Fields is a perfect example of what I'm talking about. Uh, the boy messed around, got himself traded, went to Pittsburgh, uh, and turned himself into, at worst, a serviceable NFL starter. You understand what I'm saying? Whereas in Chicago, he was borderline unplayable. Right, so yeah, there you had that. If you genuinely think that the season is going to end with Washington and Pittsburgh at the top of their division, I don't know what kind of galaxy gas you you huffing, but you need to put it down before you feel me. Half your frontal lobe disintegrates into thin air. You understand what I'm saying? So yeah, it means that running back. Maybe maybe people will stop this this uh narrative about you know the running back position being phased out and running backs you know uh being uh undervalued and whatever and, and it did matter of fact i will end on this point if we ain't learn anything else from this season not only is defense back but the running back is back mvp of the league thus far is saquon barkley because uh, there, Matt, and listen to all of you Giants fans that were trying to tell me that Saquon is washed, that Saquon, you feel me, uh, you know, send him to the glue factory uh, because, you know, he's done. Stick a fork in him because he's done. All of y'all who tried to tell me that, uh, blow it out your ass. <laughs> you feel me? Because I've, I've been trying to tell y'all and we've been trying to tell y'all, you feel me? Give Saquon, give him an NFL line to run behind. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Give him, you feel me, some actual NFL players, you feel me, to block for him, and we'll see what he can do. And Saquon is what he's the leading rusher in the league, I believe, right now. But uh, uh, outside of that, uh, the Eagles are 0 3. Without Saquon Barkley, they are 0 3. Uh, this year, you feel me? Um, there's an argument. I'll make the argument that they should be uh three and oh, you understand what I'm saying? Uh, and there's a lot that goes with it, you feel me? That specific, mainly the defense, you know, playing like ass until Sunday, you know, until they woke up. Boy, listen, if Jalen Carter, you talk about. You talk about a defensive player taking there, there it's just certain dudes, you feel me? You know, that's of that Lawrence Taylor type caliber. You feel me? That Aaron Donald type uh caliber where they just take over a, uh Von Miller was like that, you feel me, in his prime, where you know you got to game plan around that one player and they just take over, just start wrecking stuff you feel me uh Jalen ain't getting no set but listen I'm 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 telling y'all I he was my preseason defensive player of the year uh winner you feel me I know he ain't get off to a good start but I'm still gonna ride with that because what I saw yesterday that's 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 what the rest of the league is going to see for the next 10 years at least. So, I'm still on but anyway, Saquon is my MVP because in a league where every quarterback is playing like a twerk show. You feel me? In a league where every quarterback is mistwerksum now. <laughs> you feel me? Every quarterback is uh, it, it, you understand what I'm saying? It is it, it, it's playing, you know, head down, ass up. You understand what I'm saying? You gotta have a run game. So Washington, no name fans. You feel me? Have your party. Uh, who else is that? Uh, Pittsburgh Steelers fans, have y'all party? But. I ain't really worried about the Bengals like that because we do this every year with the Bengals and they find a way. I ain't really worried about Baltimore like that because they're going to figure it out. Again, it's, it's it's week three just ended, man. These are basically preseason games that count. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? You don't, ain't really much you can tell, you feel me, about your team or any other team in the first three weeks of the season, right? 
like I, aside from the youth, you feel me? This, this, <laughs> Aside from the, this, this is who, uh, th because this is going back to last year, you feel me? And I said this before that this, this is the Eagles are a Super Bowl team with any other coach besides Nick. You feel me? I think Jalen's going to get the turnover thing figured out. Even that interception on Sunday wasn't. I, I mean, here's the thing: you can't praise him because that. Devonte ran a not great route. He should have, you know, crossed over, you know, uh, Matthew's face a little bit harder, but he just kind of got bullied off of his route. You understand what I'm saying? If that's AJ Brown, AJ Brown doesn't get bullied up because I mean he got the body for it. AJ Brown don't get bullied off of that route, but it's neither here nor there. Um, I say that to say you can't praise a dude for being aggressive for being aggressive. You feel me? One week and then get mad, you feel me, when it don't when it don't work. It, you, you understand what I'm saying? If that's what he's going to be, that's what he's going to be. You understand what I'm saying? Um, but I feel like Jalen is going to get the turnover thing uh, figured out. The defense, thank black Jesus that somebody got the sense to say, let Bryce Huff ride his bum ass on the bench <laughs> you feel me until he figure out how to play on uh running downs you, you understand what i'm saying um but nick is the only thing who i don't know if nick can get it figured out you understand what i'm saying so yeah there you have it